Hey everybody, Rob from Karma Comment Chameleon coming at you today with another one from the Pro Revenge Archives. Video games are more important than chores? That's some nice internet you have. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Let's jump right in. When I was in third year of university, I lived with a couple of housemates. One was super awesome, and the other guy turned out to be completely useless. He wouldn't help out with the chores at all, not even just turning on the dishwasher when it was full. He just wanted to play computer games all day. I mean, I get it. Gaming is awesome, me and the awesome housemate were playing a lot of Lineage 2 at the time, but we still made time for real life stuff. Eventually, me and awesome housemate had enough of the other guy not pulling his weight. I was in control of our internet connection, including operating our router, a Linux box shoved under my desk, we hatched a plan. I wrote a script that, periodically, would scan through the NAT state table on the router, a list of all connections the router was handling between the internal computers and the internet, identify connections from crappy housemate's PC, and then would randomly, in descending order of likelihood, do nothing, forge a fin packet that appeared to be from housemate's PC and send it to the remote server, forge a fin packet that appeared to be from the remote server and send it to housemate's PC, forge a RST packet that appeared to be from housemate's PC and send it to the remote server, forge an RST packet that appeared to be from the remote server and send it to housemate's PC, drop the connection from the NAT state table. To explain this to the non-initiated, a fin packet is a notification to one side of the connection that the other side would like to terminate the connection. There is a negotiation that happens between both sides to tear down the connection so both sides know about it. This is a graceful disconnect. An RST packet is a hard disconnect. Drop the connection immediately. Don't negotiate with the other side. Don't send any more packets. Just stop. Removing the connection from the state table effectively stops all traffic in either direction because the router no longer knows about the connection. But neither side of the connection knows this has happened. The last three options in the list are particularly nasty because it leaves one, or both, sides of the connection thinking that they are still connected. Now understand, this is way back when WoW first launched and that is pretty much the only game Crappy Housemate was playing. If you played WoW around that time, you'll remember the long queues to get onto a server, 20 plus minutes at least. Imagine, if you will, what would happen in an MMO if you tell the client to disconnect, but the server thinks the client is still connected. The client quits immediately with a, you have been disconnected message but the server won't log the user out for a long time, at least several minutes, and in the worst case, will continue doing the last command action, like walk forward. In the case of early WoW, you couldn't even log in and wait in the queue again because the server thought you were already logged in. You had to wait 5 to 10 minutes for it to kick you off, then join the queue for 20 plus minutes. As time went on, we pestered the bad roommate to help with the chores. Each time he refused, we would bump the likelihood that one of the non-do-nothing options would happen. Every time it killed one of his WoW connections, we would hear a loud somewhat quietly at first, then louder and louder over time. Then he started literally smashing his keyboard and or mouse, and at least once, his monitor which left some nice dead pixels in the shape of a fist. When we moved out, he removed, I kid you not, a decent sized box full of smashed mice. It got to the point where he would log on, wait in the queue, get into the game, start moving around, and within 5 to 10 minutes, it would kill his connection. And after he eventually got back in, he would often find his character dead from NPCs or at the bottom of a cliff, because his character had continued to walk forward for 5 minutes. Sometimes, he wouldn't even make it out of the queue before being disconnected. It was hilarious to us, but he was absolutely raging. Even more hilariously, my script only looked at connections to WoW. 
other connections to, for example, Ventrilo, were unaffected. So Housemate would be on vent with his clanmates, would drop out of the game, but his voice chat would be completely unaffected. Eventually, at least three to four weeks later, he came and asked me if there was something wrong with the internet connection. I said something to the effect of, oh, yeah, I applied an update to the router to make the internet connection as reliable as the person using it. He got the hint, but still didn't help with housework. He put up with a practically unusable internet connection until we moved out, which wasn't long after that. Meddle not in the affairs of sysadmins, for your network connections are crunchy and are tasty with ketchup. I think the best part of this story is that it took three to four weeks for this person to ask OP if something was wrong with the internet. I guess they learned the hard way, you never mess with IT and you never mess with a sysadmin. I want to thank OP for posting their story to the Pro Revenge subreddit. You can visit them at the links in the description below. Please go there and give them an upvote. Once again, this is Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon saying thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one.